Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Sorry guys, we've been missing a bit, but you guys know the weather in the UK has been mad. Game after game getting cancelled, but this week we have one. And it's not just any game, it's a London Cup game. Last time we played in the London Cup, we got knocked out on penalties to Hammersmith in a game where we think we should have won. This year we have the opportunity to rectify things, so let's see how it goes. Before we get into the lineup, last game's man of the match, in my opinion, was Sam Bailey. I think he made uh, plenty of things happen, uh, made us still believe and just kept going at them, kept going at them. And eventually we got the result. So Sam Bailey is uh, last game's man of the match. The team is lining up like this. We have John in goal, Femi at right back, centre backs Will and Reggie. At left back, we're going to have Brad. In midfield, we have Joseph, George and Adem. Out wide on the right is Myro. Over on the left is Eri. And starting through the middle is Benny. On the bench, we have yours truly, Thomas returning from a broken foot, Marcel and Mike's returning from a long-term knee injury. So, the Astro has saved the day. We actually have a game to play. Um, the weather was still relentless throughout that whole weekend, but thankfully, we have a game to show you guys. UTR in the huddle, we're ready uh, for battle, and hopefully we come out victorious. London Cup is a big game. Uh, Hacks at the halfway line with the ball, and we're just waiting for the referee's signal to get the game underway, but he's seen a problem with one of their players, saying that he's got no shin pads, and he wasn't ready to start the game until that was solved. Eventually, we got going anyway. And uh, they opted for a long ball, first of all, as most teams will do, try and put the opposition under pressure, see what their centre-backs are made of. Who just lost the ball in the middle there. Uh, to Actually, I think that's the 35, or, I'm not sure what it is, but I know that I played football with him uh, back in the days in the Essex Senior in Barking side. His name's Terry. This player's a tricky player, this 31, look out for him. You can see their little link up, uh, goes for the one, two, sets it out here to the 35, and oh my days! Terry, 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 I didn't know you had that in you. I did not know you had that one in you. What's that, like 35? How, how far out would you say that is? I didn't, I, uh, it's number 36, I've got it wrong the whole time. Number 36, but um, look at this. Boom, stays hit. John would have done very well to save that. Slapped it into the top corner. What an absolute strike that was. So, we'll go down. Literally, that was what, like less than a minute? Clearly some work to be done for UTR. Reggie's given the ball away to the man who scored the wonder goal, 36, Terry. Uh, he's set his man down the line. He's got Reggie to beat and Reggie recovers nicely. He's done very well to win the ball back and rectify his mistake. Well, we've got to buck up our ideas and it's Will into a Dem. Dem turns nicely and sees Myro out wide. The danger point for them, they've got to deal with him as he sends number three to have some Astro for breakfast. Uh, switches the play, looking for Eri, and uh, he can't get on the end of it. Hax took the early lead and they're looking to build on it. It's the number four who sets it here to the 88. Looks like he's got tricky feet, looks to get around Femi, he does so. Referee sees nothing wrong with the little push there or shove, whatever it was, as he uh, signals for the corner. That corner taken, in swinging by the 31. Eri's there to block it at the front post, and Eri, uh, 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 he, hey. That is so lucky, in my opinion, not to be a penalty. The referee has given it the other way, in fact, for the man stopping the ball with his hand, but I think that's a pen. I would definitely be calling for that. In that instance, we have indeed caught life as it comes out on the edge of the box to a Dem. Nice control, sets up to shoot, and he can't keep it down. It's over the goal. Femi with it, but he's lost it, and the 31's gonna pick up possession for Hacks, and he's gonna drive them forward. He's got three UTR shirts to beat. Tries to do that with a pass. Reggie cuts it out, comes down here to the nine, and Joseph picks it up. And Joseph break for UTR, he's got Eri out wide. Benny's uh, got some movement going forward as well. Uh, can we do anything? Eri up against the number two, looks to have him on skates. Uh, up against the 80, tries to get around him. Can't get past him though, successfully without putting it out of play, and that's a goal kick. Bit of a loose ball midway through our half. Number four tries the roulette. It's failed. Will comes in, makes a strong challenge. Referee having none of it. He tried to take it quickly, but the referee pulled it back. 36 tried to do it again. Goes out for a throw. 
again on this left hand side uh, Femi and George track him back George does well to win the ball for UTR and tries to play one down the line uh, comes here to Myro just shoved to the ground <laughs> surely that's a foul referee says play on three skips away from George Jay has done well tries to pass it into the four that's a plus one pass can they do anything from it comes back to the three 88 looking to maybe let one go from distance and it's just going to trickle through 77 on the ball their skipper how often do you see two players with the number 77 on the same pitch Femi and uh, their skipper as uh, George commits the foul just the talking to for him Pax trying to get a ball in behind Will's going to be first to it 31 uh, loves this left side he's got 88 in support up against Myro Femi's there covering Myro does well to win the ball for UTR he's patient and picks his moment Joseph midway through the UTR half spreads the play he's got Eri out wide Bradley looking to time is run from behind to make the overlap and we've got Benny in the middle Adem making his way into the box Bradley there I think caught in two minds and doesn't make a great decision meanwhile they're on the break it's the four he's got the 11 in the middle Will that is a fantastic interception sir Myro on this right plays it into Adem Adem controls it nicely he's got three shirts around him but he keeps the ball so close to his feet it's almost impossible to get it off him at times Benny couldn't get the return pass they've got it right back Eri looking to win the ball for us and he does exactly that. He's got Benny ahead of him. He's got the 80 to beat. Eri, can he let one fly? Sets it back to a dem. A dem, I think he's in two minds there. He didn't know what technique to go for and he got it a bit wrong. We need to find a way back into this game. Almost 20 minutes been played. It's Joseph rolling it back to a dem. He sees a pass out wide here to Femi. Femi has Myra with him. Goes for a few step overs. Gets a bit jammy. Uh, still keeps it. Comes in here to Joseph. Joseph allowed to turn and let one fly. But it's wide. You'd bet your money on Joseph scoring that. Here is Joseph, nice little touch, plays it looking for Benny, Benny caught on his heels a bit, 77 tried to capitalise, George helps him out, Benny too strong for the number 9, uh, still keeps going, 77 tried to put him off but he gets a shot off, and it's not a bad attempt, and uh, so far just the one shot for Hacks, allowing them to keep that lead. Myra on the ball, up against the 3, trying to twist him inside out, he goes to ground there but he's just lost his footing. Pax with a corner, 31 to take it, in swinging, John punches it first and Adem's going to nod it further. Pax with a throw, uh, just on the halfway line, it's uh, taken into 31 who does a neat touch out wide to the 88, who's got quick feet, don't be deceived by the kind of Shakiri like build, he's got very quick feet, uh, taken on Femi, again drags him to the ground, gets away with it, lovely uh, to do the lacroqueta there again and he tries to go for goal and that's a fantastic save from John to keep it out. Pax trying to turn the screw again, it's Terry, 36. Goal scorer uh, tries to thread one through. Bradley reads it. Almost does a bit too much, but he's done his job. Femi, uh, not used to playing at right back, so you can see he's loving to find himself up the pitch. As Myra plays a nice little back heel pass, he goes through the legs of 77. Joseph trying to find room for the shot. It's been blocked. Comes out here to Eri. Can he take his man on? One on one. We've seen Eri in this position before. He's overrun it on this occasion. And they might look to break here. It's a ball played forward from the 11 to the 4. 11 trying to make his way into the box. And John has a good starting position. Out here with Femi. One-on-one uh, -on -one with the number 3. Decides to pass it to Myro. Myro looking for the cut back. Oh, that's a great intervention from the number 9. Otherwise, Benny might have had a touch and shot. Played in field here. Joseph checking his shoulders as he should do. Uh, driving in field. He's got Benny making a run ahead of him. Benny, can he finish? It's saved by the legs of the goalkeeper, but he's deemed to be offside regardless. It's basically the new Prem, as Will gets his head up and looks to switch it for Eri. What's the control like? Brings it down. He's able to cut inside, looks to have a shot. It's deflected. Comes in here to Benny. Lovely touch round the corner. And Benny makes it 1-1. There it is. Almost out of nothing. We've had little moments here and there, but nothing quite as clear as that. And Benny is the man to get the goal for UTR. And that was a lovely finish, like a Burkamp-esque touch around the corner it i mean some people might call that accidental i think that's um instinctive that's the best way to describe it eri brings it down lovely pass from will in the first place i don't think eri should be allowed to bring that down like that but that's a great touch away from the 77 and the left footed finish into the far corner makes it 1-1 he's leveled the score
The UTR throwing, uh, Reggie takes it. It's missed out. Myro and Benny. Uh, Joseph can't get to the 77 quickly enough. And the 36 plays it into the 11. 11. Ooh, I like that. Little bit of skill to get away from a Dem there. But we've given him a bit too much room and respect, though. Played into the 31. Nice control from him. Round the corner into the 9. He's thrown on goal and he's made it 2 1. It's barely been a minute since we scored our goal. And it's an instant response. It's game on again. Pax taking the lead. And I think that's just because we were all too passive there. We've let two passes uh, go through that I don't think should have gone through. And uh, yeah, no communication there. Not enough aggressive uh, play. And I think we just let them have that goal far too easily. So then, all our hard work for that moment has been undone. Uh, Femi picks up the ball, takes it away from three hats players and he plays it in field here for Myro. Myro flicks around the corner to Benny, driving towards goal, tries to get back to Myro. It's a scuffed clearance from the two, comes out here to Eri. I think himself and Myro are just in each other's way there and uh, we can't get a better shot than that. Eri's gone to ground, I uh, feel like he's gotten some sort of knock on his head. I'm not sure when it happened, I think I might have missed that one. Gets a bit of treatment and he's back to his feet. With that, he's now on the ball. It's a loose pass. I hope it's not a concussion because he's giving it away to the 36. Looking to slip the 11 in behind. And uh, John's going to have to be quick there. He does get the, uh, the ball first. And he's able to win it for us. But he's given a loose clearance there. Straight to the number nine. Number nine looks to let one fly. And I'm not sure if it would have been on target or not. But Will gets his head in the way. And that is the last action of the first half. So we're going at the break. 2-1 down. Not where we want to be. It's the London Cup. It's bigger than this. We have to buck up our ideas and go again. This week's supporter of the week. First up is Sugar. Absolutely love Under the Radar FC. Excited for the next match and love watching Marfs give everyone a good talking to. Then we got Kizzo. Nothing more motivational than seeing Under the Radar make an outstanding comeback in the Kent Cup versus Bickley the day before my match. Well, I hope it helped you in your match and I hope you won the game. Big up the supporters of the week. Into the second half and the best part is we have so much time to change things. 45 minutes is a long time. But it's hacks on the ball on the left hand side. It's an 88 ball roll step over into the free kick. Standing over it is the 31. Goes for goal and John had to make sure that wasn't going in. He's hit the post in the process, but he's made a good save. 31. He's clearly been watching Dino. Look at the corner technique. That leg and the arm, the flare in that tech. A dem with the ball finds himself at left back. Uh, into Joseph. Great touch, by the way. Intelligent for sure. Uh, played it into Benny. Benny looking for options. He's got a wall of hacked shirts in front of him. Uh, tries to slip Eri in behind and uh, it will be a corner. That corner is then taken quickly. It's a Dem trying to wriggle his way out of trouble. Uh, we've got quite a few men in the box, but they're all behind hack shirts and it just goes straight into them. Hacks, uh, can they get over the halfway line? They're going to do just that. It's a pass in from the 36 to the number two. And Brad does just about enough to put him off. It's a UTR throw in deep inside the hacks half. Bradley's long throw into Eri's head. And there it is, 2-2, unopposed. I don't know what that marking is from them, but it's good enough to give us a goal. Or should I say bad enough to give us a goal? Eri getting his head on it, ironically, after getting a head injury. Uh, but yeah, Bradley's long throw into the box and no one's really bothered to do anything to put him off and he's pretty much got a free header. Oh. Yeah! Come on! Hey, Brad! Will we then build on this? It's uh, the 11 trying to get hacks back in front and Myro commits a silly foul there in the back. It's an obvious decision for the ref. They've taken that free kick and it's the 11 getting away from Myro once more. Uh, it's played out here to the 88 uh, yet again, demonstrating his nice dribbling. Whips it into the box. Bradley's there first with the header and it drops down to Joseph who's going to dribble it out of play. Gets a bit of luck here and he gets the free kick for us just about. On this near side, it's a battle between the 88 and George. George just shoves him straight to the ground. In my opinion, that's a foul, but we saw the one in the first half where the referee didn't give it on Myro. So at least he's being consistent. Eri, now to Brad. Brad into George. George to Joseph. Joseph looking to find room for a shot. It's deflected and behind for a corner. Adem with this corner, searching for the back post. It's going to drop down there. Myro gets a shot if he's saved by the goalkeeper. He gets it back and it's gone to Reggie. He's just leant back and scooped it over the bar. That could have been 3-2 to UTR. That's a very, very big opportunity. They've not dealt with it. Comes to Myro. It's back off him from the goalkeeper. He's missed it as he tried to do. Bit of close feet. And Reggie's just leant back on that one. 
it's Joseph round the corner to Benny. Benny tries to take it in the stride. Fails to do so the first time, but keeps it nicely with a good bit of footwork. Lost it again. Comes here to Joseph. Going to be crowded out, though, by hat shirts. It's in our box. We need to be careful here. A dem back to John. John lumps it up the pitch, and Benny might be through one and one here. But uh, Benny could give us the lead if he gets it around the goalkeeper. Does get around the goalkeeper. It's going to go and settle just for the corner. Myra on the delivery. Looking to someone deep into the box. Benny's jumping there, but it's going to just trickle past the post. 11 on the left, up against Femi. Looks to cut him inside and out. He's just lost his footing. Comes here to Myro. Myro spins away from the 55. Can he play Benny in behind? This could be it. No, on a wet surface. That's not the one. It's going to be his last action as well. Mike's is going to make his way back onto the pitch for the first time. And I don't know how many months he can tell you himself. Uh, but yeah, it's exciting for him. Hopefully he stays injury free. Bouncing ball here. Eri and 11 in there for a duel. Eri goes to ground. I don't know what sort of knock he's picked up there, but the 11 continues on. Comes here to the 99, who's actually, I think that's Joshua Sude uh, from formerly of Hashtag. You might know him if you watch Hashtag series. Um, they're very, very quick player and loves a goal. Well, the referee surprisingly actually gave us the free kick from that. It's uh, a dem into George. George does really well to get past those two there. And uh, he's looking to find a pass into Benny. Benny controls it. Can he get, get room for a shot maybe? He's done the pressure from the nine. It's going to ricochet. I'm going behind and it's gone off the crossbar from Joseph. That is just alert there. Gets in behind. And he finishes it. What a lovely finish that is. And he's at, he's at it with the celebration again. Eri doesn't look so injured there, does he? Look, he's moving fine, ref diver. Joking. Uh, George comes on with the umbrella as well to celebrate with his mate. And uh, yeah, now, nah, okay, Joseph, it, it keeps going. He, he keeps going with that dance. It's kind of sick though. They need to put that in the next uh, football game. Uh, whatever it is, I don't know, EA or whatever it's going to be called. Uh, as Benny did so well here to just make a nuisance of himself. Joseph alert and he's quickest to react. And what a finish that is. And off the crossbar. And you know that's gone over the line. to UTR. What a game this has been. We've gone behind twice and come from behind twice and now it's time to take the lead. Marcel makes his way onto the pitch in place of Eri. Will they have a response for us? Marcel's first to the ball. Looks like this is going to go out of play but they forgot Benny's quick. Uh, Benny gets there first. He's got Marcel yet again in support. That's good from him. Uh, he had Joseph to his right. We've got Adem making his way up the pitch. Just trotting up the pitch there Adem. Uh, he plays it into Mike's. Mike's around the corner. Little dummy from Marcel. UTR starting to get going again. Uh, but we're just going to have to slow it down and start again. Substitution. Benny's run so well for us. Gotten himself a goal. That's going to be great for his confidence. Thomas returning from injury. Can we get something from him? When was the last time you saw a UTR player walk off with a smile after getting subbed? <laughs> Benny, great game from him. As, uh, this time, Mike tries to pick out Thomas. And he just doesn't connect with the ball. A dem with it. Uh, has Mike's inside. Mike's thinks about it there. Going for the one-two. He's been caught late there. And for a moment, our hearts were in our mouths. Uh, we thought maybe it could have been another repeat, but thank God it's not. Throwing over on the far side, it's uh, from Josh Asude into the four. Loose touch there, but a roulette keeps it alive for them. It's a pass in from the 31 into Josh Asude, and that's a great save down to his right from John in goal, and he keeps us ahead just about. From that corner, we've cleared it. Comes out to the 36. It's not quite worked like the first one. Uh, comes here to Josh Asude. Little roulette. They love that skill on this team, and uh, Femi got caught out by it, but thankfully... Nothing too much came of it as uh, the 55 does well. Keeps it alive, goes for a shot, leans back, and it's over and into the fence. George with possession. Uh, plays it into Thomas. He sets it to Joseph. Brilliant touch from Joseph. Tries to knock it through for Thomas. It's going to skid on the surface. And the keeper is composed there. But Dem making a nuisance of himself. He's been a handful for the opposition today. He's played it to Thomas. Uh, Thomas has a uh, one player to beat, maybe two. Uh, goes for the shot and it's just uh, wide and into the side netting on this occasion. But he's going to get sharper. John with a goal kick for UTR. Just over 10 minutes to be played in this game and then we could be looking at going through to the next round of the London Cup. Joseph gets on the end of that. Joseph rattles it off the post. Comes back here to Thomas. Keeps it alive. He comes here to Mike. Takes a touch. Looks to get around the 55 but it's blocked. And Dem, master of the ball roll. 36 chasing him. Dem, look at the footwork. This guy, man, he just keeps the ball uh, glued to his foot for the most part anyway. It's 36 wins the ball there. 
still in that corner, still battling though. But them gets there again, ball rolls it once more and wins the free kick. From this free kick, it's Mr. Set Piece. Mike's curling one into the box and Joseph's there, another free header. Another nightmare of marking from a set piece from Hacks United. As Joseph gets another goal to add to his UTR tally and there again is the celebration. John even getting involved. That's what he does in his spare time when he's not on Soccer AM. As uh, <laughs> Mike's with the delivery. Joseph getting to it. He's got a leap on him as well, Joseph. He gets yet another goal for UTR. 31 on the ball. Looks to get away from Marcel. Just runs into him. Marcel holds him off. The referee awards the free kick. They didn't do too much with that, but they keep coming back at us. It's not long left in the game. Reggie there going for the ball. And oh my goodness, out of nothing, a snapshot from the 88. The ball did hold up there. But I think maybe uh, my argument would be, Reggie, you've got to go to head that maybe. But I can see where it did hold up and maybe he second-guessed himself. But they're back into the game. That's 4-3. Well then, we definitely have a game on our hands. 88, he's been in and out of the game, but he's back involved once more. Cutting inside, outside, back inside. And the shot is saved by John brilliantly. 31 finds himself on the right up against Bradley able to go inside and it's a good way to show him because he is right footed but he gets it off to the number 11. 11 able to find room for a shot and it's not the greatest attempt. The skipper for Hacks on the ball uh, tries to clip one in behind. Oh it's there flicked on by the number 11. 88 takes it around John. This could be it 4-4. Reggie with a last ditch challenge. That makes up for his little error in the build up to their last goal and he does enough to stop it from going in and making it 4 Four. Uh, I don't know if that's an offside or not. It looks pretty tight to me. We don't have the best angles in Sunday League. We don't have VAR either. But Reggie does very well on that recovery. Fair play. What will they do from this corner then? 31. Uh, clips it into the box. Joseph gets uh, to it first. And that's the end of that. Still going for it. 11 escapes from a dem. Uh, he's able to get into the box there. It goes to Joshua Sude. And it's just straight into John's hands. So many attempts from both sides. It's been a brilliant game to watch. And it's drawing to a close, but it's not done yet. 55 on the ball. A little tangle of legs there with George. And he goes to ground. There's a shot from distance from Joshua Sude. And John just about... Hey, hey, John, pick that up, bro. Gah. On a rainy day like that, you can't be playing those games. As Joshua Sude is looking to get around Femi. And he does so. Femi's been tugged to the ground like that three times this game. And this time he gets the decision. Even a Sude fuming. And uh, he's going to end up going into the book. Or is this, is this going to be a sin bin? I think it's a sin bin. He's off for 10 minutes. We've got the ball in their half. The referee's saying that it's further back. And uh, Joseph has gotten himself into the book. Time wasting. The throw in then for Hacks. Into the 95th minute we are here. And Thomas is chasing down the goalkeeper after a loose touch. Almost gets something out of it. 55 sweeps up. Surely the whistle's got to go any moment now. As the referee does blow the whistle. It's the game done. 4-3. Hacks pushed us all the way to the end, but we fought back twice in that game. And I think overall we did deserve to get a result. But we almost lost it right at the end and we have to keep our concentration in fixtures like that because it can go on another day either way. But uh, credit to Hacks and we'll see you again later in the season. Uh, Alright boys, thank you again for that battle. We went 1-0 down in two minutes and we reacted really, really well. That second half performance as a whole, I'm not gonna highlight individuals, I'm not gonna do that today. That second half performance as a whole was what we need to do more. We realised that we have to win the game. What do we go and do? Win the game. By any means necessary. John, that save that you pulled off yeah, the yeah, yeah. Unreal. Yeah? Sorry, my middle three. I get on to you up so much. But well done for, for fixing this second half. Well done. Welcome back, Mike. That is it from me this week on Sunday League. I can't tell you if there's going to be a game next week or not because the weather is moving mad right now. But if there's not, make sure to check out the content on the UTR channel and also the UTR socials. Follow us, keep in the loop. I'm sure you guys will still enjoy all that content. Nothing left to say. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Why they asking me if hard work pays off the proofs in the